This is Deshanta B, and welcome to Let Me Read to You. The story today is called Reaching Above, the Bessie Coleman story, written by Pamela Moody, illustrated by Jim Matson. You know what time it is. Let me read to you and stop playing. Come on, let's go. This story is for the number one Bessie in my life. Mom, this story is dedicated to you. Under the hot Oklahoma sun, young Bessie Coleman reached out to pick another bowl of cotton. Glancing up, she saw a flock of birds. She watched them glide across the clear blue sky. I wish I could fly like a bird, Bessie said to her sister. Then I could get above these cotton fields. Bessie's mother didn't want her children to spend their whole lives picking cotton. She wanted them to have an education. Even though they couldn't afford to go to school, she found ways to help them learn. Whenever the book wagon came to town, Mrs. Coleman always borrowed books. Bessie taught herself to read. She also did some reading and spelling at Sunday school. One Christmas, a friend gave the Coleman family some magazines. In one of those magazines, Bessie found a story about the Wright brothers. Next time the book wagon came, Bessie asked for books about airplanes. Bessie read everything she could about flying. She knew it was dangerous. She also knew it was what she wanted to do. One day, Mrs. Coleman told her, Bessie, you can go to school. Bessie was thrilled. Getting an education would mean she could get above the cotton fields. Bessie graduated from high school in 1910. As a gift, her mother gave her money for one year of college. Sadly, the money ran out before the year was over. Bessie had to quit school and look for work. Bessie went to live with her brothers in Chicago. There she hoped to get a job and save enough money for flying school. Because she was black and a woman, many businesses would not hire Bessie. But she did not give up. Gazing up at the sky, she promised herself she would learn to fly soon. Finally, Bessie found a job. She worked and saved until she had enough money for flying school. But no American flying schools would accept a black woman. Even then, Bessie did not give up. She found a flying school that would take her. That school was in France. Bessie learned to speak French. Then she went to France. For the next six months, she studied and flew. On June 15, 1921, she got her pilot's license. She had risen above the cotton fields. Bessie's first air show was in New York. The crowd roared when Bessie stepped onto the airfield in her flight suit. The air is the only place free from prejudice, she said. Many years later, in April 1995, she was honored by the United States Post Office. A stamp carried her name and her picture. Bessie Coleman, the first African-American pilot, had earned a place in history. Reaching above the Bessie Coleman story. The end. This is Deshanta B., Thank you for taking the time to listen to Reaching Above, the Bessie Coleman story by author Pamela Moody, illustrated by Jim Matson. The music tracks bumping this video are Nice to You 
by music producer Vibe Tracks. Jazzy Ten by music producer Quintus Moriera. Soaring High by music producer Biz Bar Studio. Passage by music producer Uganda OEQ. You know what time it is. Like, subscribe, and share this video. And remember, never stop reaching for your dreams and stop playing. And until next time, bye guys. Bye.